Hello and welcome back. Now let us discuss block in HTML. So there is a tag called div. The div tag is nothing more than a container unit that encapsulates other page elements and divides the HTML documents into sections. Web developers used div tag to group together HTML elements and apply CSS styles to many elements at once. Actually these tags are very useful when we go to the CSS. So before that we will be just learning the simple basics how to use this tag then we go to the CSS. So what we are doing in this tag? Actually we are dividing the HTML web page into blocks using the div tag. To apply the styling on those block there is an attribute called style. Style attribute is mainly used in CSS but now we are just going to see its basics in HTML and in style attribute I write color equal to green and inside the div tag I make heading using h3 tag and between h3 tag I write this is green block. And now let me add more content in it. So I write ul tag and inside it by using li tag I am going to write the names of some fruits. Save it and refresh the browser. You can see it is displaying in green color because we apply green color in style attribute. Now let me create another block using div tag and inside div tag write style attribute and color is equal to red. Now make another heading inside div tag and write this is red block and copy this ul tag and paste it here. Save it and refresh the browser. You can see this block is displaying in red color. So like this we can add blocks using div and apply style attribute on it. Hope you understand this video. Keep practicing it and see you in the next video. Hello and welcome back. Now we learn some more attributes that we can use in div tag. So create one more div tag here and write style attribute. Inside style attribute I am giving height and width of block. Let's say 940 pixels width and 300 pixels height. After height and width I apply one more attribute color which is pink. You can choose any color. Background color is gray. Save it and refresh the browser. You can see its height and width is according to our pixels. Background color is gray. Now let me give it border and padding attribute. Border 6 pixels solid black. Borders can be applied to most HTML elements within the body. To make a border around an element all you need is border style. The style can be solid, dotted, dashed, double, group, any style of border you can choose according to your desire. Now I apply the attribute padding 5 pixels. Padding means it will leave the 5 pixels space from left and right. You can give the pixels according to your requirements. Save it and refresh the browser. You can see border solid black is appearing. Now let apply all these, all these attributes to above blocks. Just changing the color and background color. Its background color is green and color is blue.
its background color is red and color is yellow save it and refresh the browser so like this we can apply attributes to the div tag hope you understand this with span tag the span tag is like the div tag it has no meaning at all and is mostly used for styling by using an id or class the difference between the two is that div is a block element it's on a separate line span however is an inline element meaning that it can be on a line with other elements the html span tag is used for grouping and applying style to inline elements so let me create a heading first using h2 tag and inside heading i write span is used to style inline elements so let's say i want to highlight the word inline in red color so i apply the span tag around the inline word and inside span tag i apply the style attribute and inside style attribute i write color equal to red save it and refresh the browser you can see inline is displaying in red color let's say i want to highlight the span tag in green color so i apply span tag around both these words and then using style attribute i write color is green save it and refresh the browser you can see span tag is displaying it green color so this is how span tag works it is very useful in css we will see its more features in css hope you understand this video keep practicing it and see you in the next video